It does. Uh, <clears throat> and well, first of all, uh, we have seen in successive election cycles now, medical marijuana pass and now casino gaming. Mm -hmm. uh, and then strikingly a, um, a, an issue on the ballot in Pope County where one of the casinos could be authorized to exist, uh, an issue in Pope County now sort of forces the county judge in Pope County to seek a vote of the people before they can determine whether or not they want to have a casino in their own community. So uh, it goes even deeper uh, inside Russellville in that area. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, uh, I, it, and then it, back to the ballot initiatives. To see um, minimum wage and voter ID pass with sort of roughly the same, I mean, big, yeah. big, big the majorities, big. big majorities. You would think, looking at it from the outside in, that that those are two contrasting issues. One would be a Democrat get out the vote issue. The other would be a Republican get out the vote issue. Yet there they both passed. Yeah. And I, I guarantee you, when you do the analysis, that. Um, You've got someone who pulled the lever for casino gaming, who pulled the lever for a minimum wage increase, and voter ID, and those issues you think would all run contrary to one another. So, uh, uh, again, the Arkansas voter is sticking true to its nature of being very independent and uh, sort of all over the map at once. Yeah.